Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Hey, um, there seems to be a little bit of a split out there in the whole Tai Chi community on here on YouTube and out in the Facebook social media world between people who are kind of key believers who believe, or, or Chi believers, people who believe there's some stuff in your body called Chi and you can accumulate it in different parts of your body and you can do things with it. Um, and they usually will contrast that with, with, with what they call a purely mechanical view that somehow the mechanical, scientific, more rational, evidence-based, skeptical uh, view of Tai Chi is somehow mechanical or merely physical. Um, I am in that later, latter camp. I definitely believe that all of Tai Chi and everything we do boils down to mechanics. But to me, that doesn't mean it's sterile. That doesn't mean it's robotic. Uh, in my view, really good mechanics are not mechanical. They don't have a robotic look to them. They're not, you know, stiff. Um, they're not sterile. They're um, very uh, relaxed and flowing and um, integrated and efficient. And there's this quality of surrender, the quality of your intent manifesting effortlessly and naturally through your body. Um, that's what I call good mechanics. You know, um, to me, when people talk about chi or ki in martial arts anyway, um, I tend to think of that as the integrating, listening, and coordinating function of my central nervous system. If I want to feel, when, like, or when people talk about, you know, sink your chi to your dantian, um, to me, that means bringing my consciousness, uh, awareness, which comes from my listening sensory nerves going up to my brain, and I'm, I'm listening and feeling my weight settle in that area. So then my active part of my brain, my more, the, you know, like the, what are they called? Uh, oh, I forget, motor nerves that move muscles. They recruit a whole subtle complex of muscles that support me in feeling my center down here. In other words, I'll feel my feet firmly on the ground, I'll, my knees will bend a little bit, I'll sit into my hips, there'll be a slight rotation outward, there'll be a relaxing of everything above this, so that weight settles into that area, there'll be some consciousness in letting my spine remain upright so that I don't collapse into that area, but remain and keep an upright and, and solid structure, and then release my weight or my tension downward so I feel it down here. Now, I'm in touch with my center of gravity, so where I want to move, you know, that my center's involved in that. I'm not just, you know, lurching around up here. So, when I direct my attention somewhere, there's a whole complex of muscles that are recruited to organize my body in such a way that I can feel that. If I'm going to connect to my arm, I feel, I could say, okay, I feel this chi fill my belly and then flow out to my arm and remain connected, but is it really some stuff that's doing that, or am I simply um, recruiting and engaging the muscles that hold my arm in this shape in a refined way, not a stiff, tight way, with my, through my shoulder girdle, through my spine, through my core, through my legs, into the ground. So I could hold this, but I could just let go of the hand part, right? Or I could feel this connection and just let go of the elbow part. Or I could just let go of the shoulder part or I could just let go of the ribs, or I could just, and I could feel a lot of different ways, but from years of practicing and putting all of these muscles on dimmer switches, uh, my intent has a lot of refined tools to express itself through. So when I think of point my finger, I don't kind of just go like that, you know, I can, my whole body can align to, to make that movement happen. So. Good mechanics are not mechanical. If you look at somebody like, say, Steph Curry, great, great basketball player, watch him move, a very relaxed, fluid basketball player, a Tai Chi basketball player, in my opinion, watch him move, and you'll see very refined mechanics. Everything he's doing is mechanical. I mean, the joints, there's only so many joints in the body and so many muscles, and he sets them up to make his moves. But it's not mechanical in that he's not stiff and robotic out there. He's very relaxed. So there is a kind of a greater than the sum of the parts, whole body surrender, kind of unified feeling that comes from having your mechanics really good and then relaxing into them. 
there is some larger than the sum of the parts thing going on there. I definitely feel it. But I wouldn't call it uh, chi, and I wouldn't describe it as some kind of substance. It's just not. It's just. A, it's not my way of looking at things. I think of it as more like very refined mechanics. Uh, it reminds me of um, one of my favorite bands, if not my favorite band, Steely Dan. I watched a documentary where they were talking about how they made one of their famous albums. I think it was Asia, and one of the musicians was saying that first they got everything perfect. They got every note, every beat, every pause was perfect. And then they went past perfect. They took it further to make it seem natural. So not only was the mechanics of the music perfect, but they went past that so that those notes and that feel and that music had a natural, spontaneous feel to it. That's my goal in my life with my Tai Chi, with my music, with everything I do to study it get it as close to the perfect place that I want to, and then kind of forget, or surrender, or go past that to try to make as perfect as I can do it, with my limitations, be as natural as I can make it. So, you know, in the beginning a movement might be kind of mechanical, you're sort of studying it in a clunky, you know, robotic kind of way, and then you can work on making it smoother and more relaxed, and then you can make it loose in the, in the joints, so like inside the movement there's a, there's a loose jointed feeling. And then you can kind of forget all that stuff and just make it as natural and relaxed as, as, you, as I can make it, or as you can make it. I, that's the way I look at it, and that's the way I like to do it. So, um, good mechanics are not mechanical. Um, what I see other people calling chi or, or ki is to me a type of mechanics, a very refined type of mechanics that connects my consciousness with my muscles, my tools, and my levers, my bones to enable me to execute my intent. So, um, okay, thanks for watching, really appreciate this. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome, or visit my website, jeanburnett.com. And uh, if you like these videos, uh, you can go to my website and click videos, and you'll see I've set up some blogs that make my videos much easier to navigate. I've also separated one for all my Tai Chi videos, one for my music videos, one for my nature videos. So if you only like a portion of the videos that I like to, um, to make here on YouTube, um, you could go to my site, jeanburnett.com, click on videos, go to one of those blogs and just subscribe to that blog because I always put my new videos up on the blog and then um, you can just watch all the Tai Chi videos and you won't have to worry about the music or all the music and you won't have to worry about the Tai Chi. And uh, I also have a digital tip jar there set for you, so if these videos are doing anything for you and you feel like buying me a cup of coffee, dropping a few bucks in my, um, in my, uh, in my digital tip jar, that would be appreciated too. Thanks for watching.